internationally recognised reef expert of her, her Oldberg says unless global warming is addressed, higher ocean acidity and coral bleaching will kill the reef. The prediction is contained in a report written by marine biologist Selena Ward at the University of Queensland. She spoke with me a short time ago. The report is essentially a summary of the literature on climate change and reefs to date. So um, it's not all my research, of course, it's a summary of, of, of what's known at the moment. And what are some of the key findings? So the key findings are essentially that if we don't act very soon, we're going to have continued degradation of reefs around the world due to climate change, because reefs are very vulnerable to climate change basically from a number of different angles, through temperature, through ocean acidification, which is the uh, carbon dioxide dissolving in the seawater, through sea level rise and through more intense storm and cyclone activity. From some of the previous reports, I would have thought by now that we've reached that tipping point and it's too late. I don't think so. There's still hope. If we were to, to dramatically reduce our carbon pollution straight away we would have a good chance of saving the Great Barrier Reef. And to but what, yeah, to, so to what extent to, when you say uh, we have to act soon and act in, in a pretty dramatic fashion, to what extent? Mm. Well, it's hard to know exactly, but we certainly have to make very dramatic reductions. If we look at the um, IPCC reports and the different scenarios, we can see that the predictions for changes in temperature separate with those uh, scenarios as the century goes on. So the earlier we make a big difference, the better it will be. We'll still have a lull, of course, where we'll continue to see the effects but if we act early enough and strong enough, we should be able to save the reef. At the same time, we have to have the conditions the best we can for corals to withstand the changes of climate change with things like very good water quality and not overfishing and that sort of thing. Mm.